Hi all and welcome back to Next Stage Designs with me Sylvia. In today's video I am going to show you how to crochet this beautiful windmill style handbag. today's handbag I'll be using this 3mm cord. It's a macrame cord but you can use any cord you like. I'll be using orange and yellow and the grey one. You will need two hooks. I will be using 5mm and 3mm hook. Also you will need scissors, tape measure and these clips they are very very useful if you don't have them you can use the packs so we will be creating four panels i will have yellow orange and two gray but the color coordination is of course up to you i just thought these colors are going really well with the gray so I will have two grey and one yellow and one orange. And each panel is 40 centimeters long and about 12 centimeters. But then we're gonna add border, single crochet all the way around. So each panel will be 13 centimeters wide. Okay, hold your yarn and like so wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross go under this first one on top of the second one pull it down and twist your hook and i am using five millimeters hook now we are going to chain 15 yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through it may be a little bit trickier with the cord because it's not very soft it's actually very rough to work with but for the handbags i think this cord works perfect continue chaining 15 once you have your 15 we are going to do half double crochet into this second chain from your hook yarn over insert like so yarn over pull up the loop three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three loops like so and that's what you are going to do in every chain across yarn over insert three loops yarn over and pull through Continue working like so, half double crochet in each chain across. So this is my last one. And now we are going to chain two, one and two and turn your work. And now we will be working into these back loops. As you can see, these are the back loops of our half double crochet. This right here. And we'll be working into those. So half double crochet into this very first one. Like so. And into every stitch across but only back loop. So continue until you come to your last stitch here. And into this last stitch, it's our chain of two from the previous round. So you can go under just one loop like so and finish your row and chain two and turn your work and again we'll be working only into those back loops 
half double crochet until we finish our panel. So this is my very first one. Second one and so on all the way across again. And we will continue like this half double crochet back loop only until we get our 40 centimeters long panel. So this is my panel nearly finished and I have my last half double crochet into this back loop. Chain one. And this is what we have so far. Now we are going to measure it. So I have 40 centimeters long panel. And we are going to lay single crochet all the way around. So I'm going to start on this side. And this is what it looks like. So it will be much easier to sew and in every corner we will place two single crochet. So into this side here you will place your first single crochet and you can place them in the gaps or in these side stitches like so. Just make sure you will spread them nicely. So into this corner, into the next gap and try to do your best. So for example right here just squeeze your stitches like so. If it's too difficult, you can even go lower. It's up to you. We are just trying to make these edges look neater and also it will be much easier to sew our back once we have this single crochet around our panel. So once you come to this other side, you will place two single crochet in each corner. Okay, so let's work our two single crochet into this corner first and place two into the same place, like so. Then as you can see this is the bottom part of our starting chain, foundation chain. So we will work under those loops like this and you will simply place again your single crochet and these two single crochet in the corner will create a nice and round finish. Okay, so continue placing single crochet all the way across until you come to your next corner. Okay, so once you are here on the other side, you will place two single crochet in this corner again. And then work on this side as we did before until you come to your corner here and you will place two single crochet there. Okay, so simply just work your way down placing single crochet. And 
and don't forget to single crochet in the corner here. So I made it to the other side and I had two single crochet in the corner, went all the way down and I'm going to place two single crochet into this corner right here. And we are going to finish right here because these sides got already proper stitches so we don't need to do anything on this side. We are simply going to slip stitch into the next one, chain one and we are done. So we are going to leave a longer yarn end so we can hide it later on and fasten off like so. Now I have my four panels all prepared for the next step. So we are going to place them like so. It's up to you. You can use any colors you like and also any combination you like. So I will have my orange, yellow and grey panels prepared like so. And first we are going to create this L shape so I have my orange and my grey on the right as you can see. So place it like this so you have this L. Take your clips and let's place the clips so it will be much easier to sew and I will be using these red clips so you will see how to follow when we are going to sew it. Okay, so it will be much easier to follow the red clips. So I place these two here. And I move it aside. And now we are going to create a second L shape. So I will place this grey one here at the bottom of my orange one. Then this yellow on the side. So you will have this cross. So you will have one L and the second L. And we will sew here. So I will use these red ones so you will know how to follow the line as we will start to sew like this. As you can see, the shapes, once you put them together, will create this windmill shape. Okay, so let's place the clips here, the red clips, like so, now I'll be using these yellow clips, so I will clip this side here, And on this side as well with the yellow clips. So now as you can see this is the shape we should have. And now I am going to move it down a little bit and, and place this orange one close to this grey panel like so. Then the grey panel to this orange panel and then this yellow panel to this grey panel like so. 
so you will simply move all your panels from left to right and it will create this windmill shape to your bag so we will sew like so and then the gray one to your yellow panel okay not to worry it may look complicated but it's really really easy once you understand it okay so we're gonna sew like this like this all clockwise yellow to gray and gray to yellow okie dokie so let's place more clips so you will understand it and also i'll be using the red ones so you can just simply follow the colors okay so i will place the red clips one here you will go all the way down you will follow these red clips like so so we will go down 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 all the way down until you come to your middle part and then you're gonna sew all the way up and you will finish right here where is your yellow panel finishing okay so you will follow these red clips okay now for the other side we are going to do exactly the same so i will place the clips the yellow ones so my first one will be here you will go down right here until you come to your middle part and then you're gonna come out on this other side right here so i'll place my yellow clip right here And I have my white one now, but this white one is as our yellow one because I ran out of yellow clips. So that's what we have so far. And now let's just do last check. So we sew like this all the way down until you come to your middle part. Follow the red clips all the way up like this until you come here okay then the yellow clips you will start here you will sew all the way down like so until you come to your middle part again and you will sew until you come all the way up let me just place one more clip so it will be much safer so you will follow your yellow and white clips now <laughs> and you finish there to sew our bag you can use the yarn needle or simply you can use your hook like me so create a slip knot like so take it off your hook and make sure the stitches are on top of each other so as you can see i am inserting my hook on this gray part and i'm going through the yellow so i have one stitch here and one stitch on the other side place the slip knot on your hook pull through and chain one like so now we are going to find the next stitch on this gray side then the next stitch on the yellow panel like so so you have full stitch on one side and full stitch on the other side and work your single crochet like so
Okay, so we will continue all the way down here. We will go to the middle part. And once you get to the middle part, I will show you what to do next. Then we will continue all the way up. We're gonna get to this corner here and simply finish it until we reach the end of your orange panel. Okay, so I am here at this corner here and you will simply just continue placing your single crochet like this, nothing complicated as we will just follow the stitches and placing them like so. So you will continue like this. And now for this middle part, as you can see here, we need to get into the middle. And once you get to your last stitch, like this, you will skip to this other side and you will find your first stitch on one side and first stitch on the other side, like this, so the corners together. And then you will simply continue placing single crochet again until you come to the end on the other side. Okay, so this will create a nice seam and then we will work on this side later on. So we will go all the way up to this corner here and we will finish right here. Okay, so I am nearly at the end. And as you can see here, so I will place my last single crochet in this corner, chain one, and now you can pull your loop and just to double check, as you can see, we went all the way like this. So we create this long L, And now we are ready to sew the other side and we are going to follow these yellow clips, okay? So we will start here, we'll continue all the way down to this corner, we come to the middle part and then we will finish the seam until we come to this corner on the other side, okay? So let's sew this side now. Let's just turn it and fasten off. Make it nice and tight. So we are going to start on this side here. So create your slip knot again like this. Again take it off your hook, see daisy, insert it on this yellow side first. So insert your hook like this under the both loops so stitch on one side and stitch on the other side place it on your hook and pull through chain one 
and we will do exactly the same what we did on the other side so we will go under full stitch on the yellow part and full stitch on the gray part and let me try again <laughs> so insert here and insert on the other side yarn over pull through and finish your single crochet so simply work your way as we did before all the way down to your middle part so once you are here in the middle again we will try to make it look the best we can <laughs> so this is my last stitch here and I will squeeze maybe one more it may be a little bit tricky just try to do one more so the skip stitch will be not too long okay so I placed the last one on this side and then I'm going to skip on the other side right here and I will go as close as possible to this middle part and I will place single crochet so this way you will have one a long stitch right in the middle connecting these two sides okay so just do your best and try to squeeze those stitches there as you can see we created this cross right in the middle now you will work all the way up here okay so this is my last stitch on this side and chain one and fasten off and we should have two seams like this and this is our bag prepared for the next step so for the next step we will create the handles and now we have two options you can have your bag this way so you will have these seams around or you can turn your bag inside out so you can see these are the seams and when you turn it inside out your bag will look like this so it's up to you how you prefer your bag to be so because the both sides are looking great to me so you will decide so this way your seams are inside so it will look a little bit different but I think it looks amazing the both ways so that's why I'm telling you it's up to you whatever side you choose it will look amazing anyway so create a slip knot and we are ready to start our handle so take it off your hook and we are going to start on the side right here place the knot on your hook and pull through and chain one so we will start into this very first stitch and we will place single crochet all the way across until you come to the top of this panel right here So 
So once you reach this corner here, you will place your last single crochet and now we are ready to create our handle like so and we will attach it to the other side. So you will chain as many as you like but for my handles I decided to chain 70. So it's up to you how long you want your handles to be. So once you have your chains prepared, make sure they are not twisted. So the V's are facing up and you will attach it to this corner right here with a single crochet. So once you have your chain attached, you will work your way down and then up to this corner here. So simply just place single crochet, oopsie daisy, as we did before. But before we do so, I will show you what to do in this corner here. And also as you work, it's a good idea to hold this yarn end and hide it as you work your single crochet so you don't have to do it later on. So you may have noticed I'm holding this yarn end and I'm hiding it as I go. So you will continue until you get to this corner. So once you get to this corner here, you will chain 70 again, so we can create the handle on this side as well and make sure you have the same amount of chains. So your handles are exactly the same. So we will attach it to this corner here and again make sure your chain is not twisted before you attach it, just double check. So the V's are facing up like this and place your single crochet into this corner here. Let me just find it, oh yes it's there and do your single crochet like so and continue placing your single crochet until you come to this corner here. Once you come to this corner here you will not slip stitch or anything, you will simply insert your hook into this very first stitch and you will place your single crochet again in every stitch around until you come to this chain and then I show you what to do next. So just place your single crochet in every stitch And once you come to this chain here, you will work into the chain. So the V's are facing up. So your first single crochet will be into this first V and in every V or your chain like so. single crochet and this will create my hands are shaking a little bit and that's because it's quite tricky to work with the cord but the work looks amazing I just love to work with the cords 
Okay, so continue until you get to your other side. You will go around like so. And then when you come to the other side of this chain, you will simply just work into this last one here and work into this very first stitch again, placing single crochet. And again, you will work until you come here. And then you will work on your chain again and you will finish right here where we started. So one more time I'm going to show you insert. So don't twist your chain and insert your first single crochet right here into this very first V or your chain and continue creating your handles. On the other side, again, I'm finishing this handle and I'm starting my first single crochet on the panel. And you will work and finish right here where we started. So I have a few stitches left here. And this will be my last one here. So do the slip stitch, chain one and fasten off. And make sure it's nice and tight. And all we have to do, we are going to hide the ends with this three millimeters hook because it will be much easier. As you can see, smaller hooks are perfect for this. So simply just hide it like so, the best you can. And do so with every yarn end. It can be a little bit tricky, but not to worry. You will find the right way to do it. And this is it. This is our beautiful handbag. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. Don't forget to like it, share it and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel Unique Stitch Designs for more ideas from me, Sylvia. Thank you very much for watching.